fertility specialists using assisted reproductive technology to make the pregnancy dreams of patients come true are now facing a new and complex ethical dilemma when it comes to what to do with abandoned embryos. None of us were really trained on what to do with this. It's a dilemma, it's a conundrum, it's a problem. During the IVF process, doctors often create multiple embryos, which are then either implanted or frozen for use at a later time. If a couple decides they do not need the remaining embryos, they have the following options. They can destroy them, donate them to research or to another couple, or continue to pay storage fees, which could run anywhere from $400 to more than $1,000 a year. In many cases, patients stop paying their storage bills and stop answering calls, leaving the clinics with what they call abandoned embryos. If you talk to patients when they're thinking about having a child, nobody thinks that they'll ever discard or abandon their embryos. Dr. Craig Sweet runs a fertility clinic in Florida. He says about a quarter of the frozen embryos at his clinic have been abandoned. And according to experts, it's a problem in fertility clinics across the country. Over time, of more and more embryos have accumulated that have been abandoned. I know of organizations that have vats of abandoned embryos and they're afraid to discard them. It's unclear exactly how many frozen embryos have been abandoned nationwide. Some doctors estimate the number to be in the hundreds of thousands, while other studies suggest it could be in the millions. Adding additional complications to the debate, the fact that embryos are fertilized eggs, meaning they have a potential for life. Alyssa Strauss and her husband turned to IVF to conceive their second child after she was diagnosed with secondary infertility. When her son was just five months old, they were faced with the decision of what to do with their remaining embryos. All of a sudden you realize that you have these two things and they're the size of a poppy seed, but at the same time, they're kind of the most important things. Alyssa says she wasn't prepared to make the emotional decision. I just wanted to be a mom with a new baby. You know, you're talking to someone that's so desperate to have in the end just an embryo that's going to work out for them and to kind of bring up that you might have extra. I don't know that how you emotionally can handle that. The Strausses ultimately decided to donate their embryos to research, but it wasn't easy. At some point, you're going to have to face down the decision. So the more we talk about it, the more people say, hey, you're going to have this big decision to make. It's going to be tough. Here's some ways to think through it. You know, the less likely I think we are for people to be stuck in that indecision, which is so common. We've dedicated our lives to building families and throwing embryos in the biohazardous waste container just it seems really wasteful. Concerned about the increasing number of abandoned embryos, Dr. Sweet has made his clinic a non-discard facility, meaning all of his patients must agree they will donate and not discard their embryos. He says he made the decision for ethical, not religious reasons. We have to take a look at this and go, this is a problem and we need to try, try to solve it. We may not be able to solve all of it, but I do think we can make things better. I'm worried that the longer we wait, the bigger the problem will be. So given this issue, some doctors say that the fertility industry needs regulation. For example, Germany and Italy both have laws that only allow three embryos to be created and transferred at a time. Mm. So that avoids surplus embryos altogether. But as of now, there are no national laws in place that address these abandoned embryos. So it's up to each and every doctor to handle this on a case-by-case -case family and, of course, with the families as well. Yeah, and families are making really tough decisions, sure. too. I mean, a lot of people, for religious reasons, you know, they, they will not destroy that embryo, obviously. But and I can only imagine a, how tough that is for folks. Yeah, it's such a personal decision. Yeah. So in the meantime, families. they have to pay every single month. Yeah. Or sometimes you just pay every year pay every to year. make sure that your embryos are there. But that's why a lot of people say they don't, they feel like it's discarding a life. Yes. And that's why, yeah. for religious reasons, many yeah. of them hold on to them. Thank you, Morgan. Thanks. And Good. for more on the story, you can head to NBCNews.com.